If you're a jiu-jitsu athlete, hobbyist, or grappler who's experiencing some type of minor ache and pain or an injury that's coming and going, that's slowing you down in jiu-jitsu, or it's just getting in the way of your regular living as well, and you're just feeling that pain as you go about your day, then I want to try to offer you some good advice here, as well as a mobility routine that you can do in a matter of 10 to 20 minutes that can help you get that first initial win where your body starts to feel a lot better. If you want to get the routine sent directly to you, along with a cheat sheet that goes with it to give you guys some simple strategies that you can do to better manage your injuries and pain throughout a jiu-jitsu schedule, then just comment down stretch and I'll reach out to you or you can message us and we'll also send you the document that way. My name is Jason Rosati with Rosati Strength Systems. I've been training and competing in jiu-jitsu for the past six years and have been a personal trainer for the past 10 years. When I first started jiu-jitsu, I would get really banged up. I would feel a lot of soreness and pain from learning how to do it. I had to put my personal trainer knowledge to good use with prehab and rehab type of exercises to help attack and tackle aches and pains as they arose. I found that this is a pretty common issue with a lot of people in jiu-jitsu. Obviously, you're getting banged up through your combat sports. So you need to be able to have an actionable plan and guide that can take you back onto the path of recovery whenever a minor ache or pain starts to arise so that way the injury doesn't become more serious. I've taken my strategies and I've been showing it to other grapplers and jiu-jitsu athletes and it seems to be working really well. So I wanted to go ahead and start putting this information out to the public so that way people can start feeling their best and performing their best in jiu-jitsu on and off the mats. So the overall strategy that I go over is that when you ever have an ache or a pain or some type of injury, it's a neurological response. Your brain is sending signals to a certain area to almost protect itself from further serious injuries. So for instance, if you're feeling really tight in your hip flexors or your back, those muscles can start to spasm and tighten up because it's, your body's trying to limit its own range of motion to not continue to hurt it. So what can happen is, especially through jujitsu being in wacky positions, is you can hurt parts of your body and you need to loosen up the tight muscles that are bringing you a lot of pain and discomfort. And what you also need to do is strengthen the opposite muscles. So that way you're retraining your body how to activate the right muscles during certain situations. So as an example of that, if you'll say you're a guard player and you're inverting a lot, you should be to some degree using your core muscles as that's going to protect your lower back. If your core is not firing and your abs aren't working, then you're going to be feeling more of the muscles of the lower back and as well as your neck and upper back as well. Your, your body's not firing off properly and this can cause aches and pains as well as lead to serious injuries if not tackled right away. So the strategy that we implement is that you want to first loosen up and loosen up those tight muscles with different types of mobility drills and stretching as well as some myofascial release techniques with like a lacrosse ball you use that to break up that sore tissue and then you want to do the correct exercises to then not only help with that pain and that symptom but you also want to tackle the root cause of what's causing your pain so as an example of that there are people that have you know hip and back issues but it leads from their feet and they have flat feet and it internally rotates their hips. So by fixing that situation, then you would start to feel a lot better in the long run. The idea is that you want to be able to pay attention to how aches and pains uh, start up and you want to be able to notice when they start up and you want to have an actionable plan on exactly what you need to do once that signal starts to flare up so that way it doesn't get worse and it doesn't take time off of the mats so the way that i go about it is that you're not trying to necessarily get rid of aches and pains or get rid of injuries but you need to learn how to manage it if you are going to stay with a consistent jiu-jitsu schedule so i love jiu-jitsu training and i'm really glad that i had that personal training knowledge to implement on my own so I've been really happy to see that the results are also working for my clients as well. So I want to, again, put that opportunity out there if you are struggling with aches, pains, or injuries and wanting to just learn a little bit more about managing those things throughout your jiu-jitsu training, then this is going to be that good start point. This is going to give you some good mobility drills that you can do and start getting rid of your pain today. So all you need to do is just comment down stretch or send us a message and we will get that sent over to you. Thanks, guys.